guys and welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today so today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how you can get your photo identification card once you arrive in australia if today is your first time of seeing my channel i welcome you to my channel my name is uche i'm a mom a nigerian and i live in toowoomba australia you guys will be wondering what is photo identification card but before I go into this video, I would like to thank all my returning subscribers and also my new subscribers too for always coming back to watch my video, leave a wonderful comment and always liking my video because this helped me to put out more content and you never know who this content would help. So I appreciate you guys all and I thank you for always being there for me. Photo identification card is a proof of age for anyone living in Australia. It varies from different states. As I live in Queensland, so I will be talking about photo identification for people moving to Queensland or people already living in Queensland. This photo identification card helps you to identify yourself, especially where you go out like in the library or go to a museum and they ask you for any identification card. You don't need to be carrying your international passport if you're a migrant or a student living in australia you really don't need to be carrying your international passport all the time so this photo identification card will enable you easy access to places that you need to identify yourself because this card would show your residential address your date of birth and your name and signature this card also help you especially if you're new in the country and you're you don't have your driver's license yet so you can also make use of this card when you're doing any application that warrants your identification i'll be showing you guys how this photo identification card looks like so before now we have what they called adult proof of age in april 2019 it was replaced to this photo identification card although if you still have your valid adult proof of age it is still acceptable here in queensland i'll also show you how the adult proof of age looks like they are the same thing just that yes you no know, once in a while government would want to remove this and replace this with another but they do the same job you will be wondering how you can get your photo identification card it is very simple all you need to do is be 15 years of age go to the website of transport and monitoring customer service center anywhere in queensland i will be leaving the link in my description box so you can go through and see all the necessary requirements that you also need while i also talk about few of those requirements in my video another thing you would need is to fill up the application form so you can do that online or you can go to any of the transport office near you and do the documentation. There are various categories stated in the website. There's one that is for category A and category B, and there are various options on each of these categories. All you need to do is provide one document from any of the categories mentioned. So category A is evidence of your legal existence, such as your name and your date of birth. Category B is evidence of use of your name in the community. So in this category, you will see various options you can pick from, but the best one for people that just arrived in Australia that doesn't have much documents to show is to show your debit or credit card from any of your banks in Australia. This, your debit or credit card must show your name and your signature. If your debit card doesn't have any of that, you have to go to the bank and your bank would need to provide a supporting document to back your debit or credit card up for you. If you're a permanent resident, you can also provide your Medicare card or your Centrelink card. This can also cover for any of the options in category B. Next one is proof of your residential address. So in this category, you can use your rental agreement. If you're in a shared apartment, you can use your phone bill or your gas bill or your electricity bill to cover for this particular 
category. So another category that they would ask you is proof of change of name. So if you're married, you need to provide your marriage certificate and your newspaper review. Once you have gathered all these documents, all you need to do is go to the nearest transport office around you and make your application. They would also take a photo of you in the office the day you would apply. You'll be wondering how much it will cost for this. For a new applicant, you would pay $73. You'll pay the same $73 whether you're doing a new one or you're renewing or you're replacing your card. You're not going to get the photo identification card immediately. Once they have taken your photo, they will tell you to go home and they would email your photo identification card to your mailing address that you provided when you're filling your form. And this will take 14 working days for them to do this. So you will have to wait till you get your ID card. So once you get that, you don't need to be carrying your international passport around. I hope this would help someone that just arrived Queensland to try as much as possible to get this photo identification. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, as usual, please give me a thumbs up, share and comment in my video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Come on, click on the notification bell. Anytime I post any new videos, you will be the first to be notified. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.